guys, this is Gang back at it again. In this video, I'm gonna create a vest for myself, which is I've been looking for one for a long time. I prefer tall, chunky, and antique kind of style, and I don't think I'm gonna get the real antique one for sure, so I have to do it myself. Then I went to IKEA and I found this trash can. Finish, finish, finish. I got them three, so let's see where I can do with it. First of all, I put some pebbles in the ziplock, and then I'm gonna leave them inside of the bin to weigh this up as it's gonna be quite tall, so I think it needs to be steady. Then I'm just building up this by hot gluing at the border of the bin together. And then I'm gluing bottom to bottom on top of it. Now we have a tall waist, mid-century modern kind of style. It's 32 inches tall in total. That's perfect for the one I'm looking for. So before it's going antique, I just want to try something to it. So I just got an idea to use an electrical tape and some skinny black PVC sticker strip that I got it on hand to decorate it over. Then I'm using marker paint creating tribal pattern all around to make this one more interesting and having kind of hippie bohemian looks. And here it is, such a beautiful and easy DIY I've ever done. Maybe I should leave it like this, huh? Now it's time to transform this one. So I just cut the wire at 35 inches. I'm really not sure how many it needs, so I just cut it around 20 pieces of it. And I guess it would be enough for that. Then I'm starting by peeling all the tapes off, and I'm just attaching the wire in vertical with actual tape. So I just line them up one by one just an inch next to each other around it. Then I secure it by tapping them all over to make sure they're not going to move away. Now you can see all the wires are spread out weirdly like this. Next I'm bending the top of the wire at 6 inches so I bend it over and then I push it back in and then the bin border. And then I'm just tapping it as well.
Here, this is the tape. It's gonna be, as you can see. And I'm gonna use the tape wrapping all over. So now I just stop taping before it gets to the neck of the waist. And I use my old magazine, all the papers, all the junk, fill up the space inside. This is the garden hose I left over from the past project. So I'm gonna use it as a handle. What I'm gonna do is just snip it off diagonal at the end to both sides of it. Just to make it lay down perfectly to the surface when I bend it curly as a handle as you can see. Then I use the wire I left from the body. I just cut it 6 inches longer than the hose. So I put 4 pieces of it through the hose like this. And then I'm bending it to get the handle shape. Next I'm just spread out all the wires. I just bend about like a 4 legs. This is for attaching to the body. So I'm gonna do both sides of it. That's it for the first handle. I need another one, so I'm gonna do it off the camera. Then I will be right back. For attaching the handle, I just wrap the leg to the wire next to it. I would say it's better to work with two pliers and wrapping them up together as tight as I can. After that, I just taping them to let them stay in place and secure my fingers when I'm working on it. Now the handles are installed pretty strong. I can use this for real, not just for decorating. Then you see it just filled up the paper with it full inside. And now I can wrap it all over up to the neck. Next, I'm gonna apply the aluminum foil to cover up the whole body. And then I'm wrapping it all over again to be ready for the next move. Next, I'm using acrylic wall putty to create the full puddly looks to the surface. So I just apply all entire bit. But when it's dry, you can see the putty is cracking literally everywhere. I know it's kinda beautiful, but I don't think it's gonna be last longer. So I have to apply another layer to it. And I'm gonna let it dry overnight. Now it's dry and got no cracking anywhere, so I just take it outside and sand it down gently all over the body. Then 
then I just clean down all the dust and take it back in and then I apply one coat of primer before I go painting. For painting, I mix up white and yellow and drop a little bit of brown to get creamy color for the base. As I'm going to do the antique one, so I don't think it needs perfectly full coverage. Just only one coat, I think it's enough. I'm also painting over inside of the bin, just in case if it's going to be seen. Then I'm adding some more brown color. And this time I'm using my finger wrapping around randomly to pop up the textures. It doesn't look different on the camera, but I can do it just. It's kind of having a little bit more brown and the tone to it. Next, I'm mixing grey color to create a fake mini time traveling for the race and also pop up more textures to it. So I used a sponge, tapping the grey mostly at the bottom, on top and around the handles. So this is how it looks. Now you can see the beautiful organic textures and dimension it has. So this is the time I've been waiting for. Now I'm gonna decorating this one by creating some kind of great pattern. So I'm just freehand drawing and painting gray color to it. But it can be done without a bunch of gladiator story kind of thing. Big statement right there in the middle of the waist. Lastly, I'm adding orangey terracotta color to make it more interesting. Then I finally apply a thin clear coat of polyurethane as a finishing touch and that's it. Now we got an impressively antique pottery waste that just made from IKEA trash can. Right, guys i hope you like the video thanks for watching here so far see you next one bye for now